Welcome to the Blending with Henry show. Before we get started, if you guys would like to know when I put up new videos, please press the bell icon next to the subscribe button. This will send you YouTube alerts. Thank you so much. Now, let's get blending with Henry. So you guys, if you've been on my Instagram for the past couple of months, you've seen me hyping up my forthcoming video containing these fresh plant-based edibles. It's here at last. Now if you want clean skin, need help with weight loss, and to better your health, then keep watching. Now you guys, I'm not big on talking about myself, but often I'm receiving emails and posts on my YouTube complimenting how clean my skin always looks, and I appreciate you guys. Now some are asking me what my secret is. It's not a feat of magic here. <laughs> I eat a lot of green leaf vegetables, superfoods, fresh herbs, and fruits that are good for the skin and don't introduce too much sugar. You guys have seen me showcase my Breville products in past videos. Now they make very good looking machines and are well built, such as their Boss Blender. Now the Breville Tea Maker, I use this every single day. I mean, it's really the best out there, no kidding. Now daily I use it to heat water for my coffee, but it truly makes the perfect tea. And my Breville Smart Grinder Pro is my pride and joy, you guys. Excellent burr grinder for coffee and it's fully customizable. When Breville reached out to me to do a review on their Juice Fountain Cold, I was really excited, you guys. Now, in my blending videos, I've made quote-unquote juice, but it requires straining or adding other liquids in order to achieve a juice-like texture. But you're really not getting a true juice. If you're really into juicing, then you may already know that Breville is one of the top sellers that other companies compare themselves to. Now, the Juice Fountain Cold is designed with Breville's cold spin technology, you guys. It's been shown to transfer less than 1.8 degrees Fahrenheit while extracting juice. Now, this makes it possible to avoid damaging vitamins and minerals from heat and processing, which is common with many juicers. Right out of the box, the Breville Juice Fountain Cold comes with everything you need to get juicing. Well, except for the food, <laughs> and it comes with a one-year warranty. Now, while this warranty is standard, it's kind of short, you guys, but in my experience, Breville takes very good care of their customers, even sometimes when out of warranty. It comes with a 2-liter or 70-ounce juice jug that has a sealing lid with a built-in froth separator. Now, don't put this bad boy in the dishwasher, you guys. It may not find its way out. <laughs> Along with the froth separator, the ceiling lid has an open and closed spout. Now in the closed position, juice can be stored up to three days in the refrigerator. I do however recommend that you guys drink your juice as soon as possible as it maintains the most nutrients. The Juice Fountain Cold is a centrifugal juicer. Now it uses a stainless steel filter basket with stainless steel cutters to break down ingredients and extract the juice. Now this has been in the traditional design of many juicers, you guys. Some upscale slow juicing machines use a turning screw to crush the ingredients for maximum juice. This is the heavy duty motor base. Well, that's it, okay? <laughs> and this is the top of the motor base. And that's it, okay? Now, one of my fave features of Breville products is their trademark assist plug. You simply stick your finger in the hole, be nice you guys, okay? <laughs> and pull the plug out from the socket. Now, why haven't most other companies created this? Now you guys know I'm a big fan of thick heavy duty power cords. They are indicative of a high performance product and they can withstand the wear and tear of a real world kitchen. Thank you Breville. Something to be aware of you guys, Breville's own instruction manual states that this model has cord storage underneath. Now the cord is supposed to wrap around the feet and clip into place. There is no cord storage option. Now definitely a flaw in the instruction booklet. The filter bowl has a spout that passes the juice into the 70 ounce juice jug. Now it comes with an attachable spout if you're juicing into a standard tumbler. 
The Juice Fountain Cold has a simple to use dial on the front with three selections to switch to. Now the low position is for juicing soft fruits and veggies that yield a high amount of juice such as oranges, grapes, or tomatoes. The high position is for tougher ingredients such as apples, kale, and beets. Now it's important to use the correct speed you guys to yield the highest amount of juice. If you're ever unsure, as I was, which speeds to use, Breville's included instruction manual tells you which speed to use for the most often used fruits and veggies. The juice fountain cold may look complicated to assemble, you guys, but it really isn't. Let me show you how to do it. No, really, it's that simple, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get juicing with Henry. Now here are the actual fruits and veggies we'll be juicing today. Beautiful apples, wheat grass, kale, root vegetables such as carrots and sweet beets, and my all-time favorite, you guys, pineapple. And all of that will be turned into these beautifully colored and flavorful nutrient-rich juices. So let's get started. Now you guys have seen wheatgrass shots like this at your smoothie shops. Now this is kale and wheatgrass. Now kale is high in fiber and great for weight loss. Now wheatgrass is rich in vitamin E, which is of course good for your skin. Now wheatgrass and kale don't produce a lot of juice, so I'm putting them together. Now I'm using dinosaur kale, you guys. Now this has wide leaves, which is perfect for wraps. So I'm going to go ahead and flip it over. And now I'm going to cut a few strands of the wheatgrass to lay inside the kale leaf. And now I'm simply wrapping it up. Now this way it's easier to insert into the juicer and a more efficient way to get the maximum juice from the wheatgrass. And once again, you guys, green leaf veggies like these do not yield a high degree of juice, so these are better for shots. As I mentioned earlier, we're using shot glasses for small quantities like this. Also, this juice is very potent, you guys. Look at that beautiful and rich deep green color. If you've noticed the smoothie shops giving you an orange wedge with your wheatgrass shots, it's because the juice is very bitter. Now, it's best to chase it with an orange wedge. Now, a quick shot like this is hydrating, nutrient-dense, perfect for your skin, you guys, and a jump start to your detox. Natural carrot juice is perhaps the most popular juice. Now, the ingredient is, of course, carrots. Okay? <laughs> now, I'm not using all these colors, just the traditional orange. Now carrots are filled with water, so they yield a very high degree of juice. Now carrots are so affordable, you guys, so you can do this daily. It's important to push the food pusher down slowly in order for maximum juice extraction.
Ah, carrot juice in its purest state. And it's interesting how carrot juice is so sweet, right? Now it's also interesting how it looks more orange than orange juice. <laughs> now carrots are rich in beta carotene. They promote good vision and a healthy immune system. Yeah, I read that, but you know, it is true, all right? <laughs> This is the best way to get raw, unfiltered apple juice. Now, sometimes I question what the stores are really selling us, you guys. Now, they say an apple a day keeps the doctor away, right? Okay, so we're juicing an array of colors today. Let's get started. The juice fountain cold chute is large enough to put whole or multiple sliced apples into it. And of course it's important to press the food pusher down slowly as you see here for maximum juice extraction. Just like the carrots, Apples yield a high degree of juice, making it an affordable fruit to juice daily. Looking at the juice jug, notice the array of red, pink, and yellow juice from the apples. Wow, seriously you guys, look at that amazing pale pink color, right? Now this is from juicing that array of different colored apples. Now it's no joke about keeping the doctor away you guys. Apples aid in neurological health, reducing the risk of stroke, lowering bad cholesterol, and reducing diabetes risk. Beets are perhaps the most underrated, most unappreciated, most misunderstood root vegetable. That's because they look like this. But once you juice them, that splashing of red color against the walls of the juice jug looks pretty scary, you guys. <laughs> Now, beet juice could be served at Halloween parties and the guests will love it. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> now, joking aside, beets are another affordable root vegetable you can juice daily as they yield a great deal of juice. The beet juice alone, you guys, can really be worth the price of admission. Just gazing at that deep reddish purple color, I'm almost at a loss for words, you guys, how beautiful this juice looks. Now, if you haven't had beet juice, it's like drinking liquid sugar. Very sweet, very delicious, and beets are loaded with nutrients. Well, for me, I'm saving the best for last, pineapple. Now, did you guys know that pineapple is the international symbol of hospitality? Now, along with the taste, that's why I love it so much. So here is the guest of honor about to be juiced. <laughs> Pineapple is also a high juice yielding fruit, 
but it's important to choose carefully to get the sweetest one. Now check this out you guys, this is the pineapple core. Don't throw this away, it juices perfectly. Now I can't wait for this segment to be over so I can drink this. <laughs> to be fair, I've tasted some good store-bought pineapple juice over the years you guys, but nothing compares to juicing it yourself and you know for certain that it's 100% juice. So here is our masterpiece of fresh juices. Truly, no artificial colors or added flavors. Now this is our apple juice. Here is the beet juice, a pineapple juice, the carrot juice, and our green juice shots right here in the front. People are afraid of consuming our earth-grown foods because they don't taste like french fries. I get it. Now, If you want to prolong your health, have clean skin, this is a great start. Now you guys, I poured the carrot, beet, and apple juice into the juice jug for later consumption. Now you can store it up to 48 hours in the refrigerator. Now for the highest degree of nutrients, it's best to consume it as soon as possible. Oh, and the taste of all three is simply amazing. Okay, so the cleanup is the number one concern about juicers. It's actually very easy, you guys. Just rinse it under water or dunk it in the soapy water. For the filter basket, Breville recommends using lemon juice to help break up the clogged pores and then use their included scrubber brush. Now, you guys saw I had a trash bag in the pulp container. I used a different one for each juice so I could separate them. Now, so many uses for the pulp. Your compost, baking, and even making a soup. So here you can see I have the leftover pulp from everything we juiced except for the pineapple. Now, including the beast as well, which you can see here at the bottom. Now, while you can simply throw this good stuff away, <laughs> if you have an immediate use for it, don't waste it. Instead, make a good pot of soup, like this one. Alright, so let's get started. First, we're going to start off with some vegetable broth. Now I'm going to add the pulp, and this is roughly about a cup, but you can put as much as you like. Sun-dried tomatoes. A few parsnips for a creamy texture. Red pepper flakes for heat. Kosher salt and fresh cracked black pepper. Snap my lid in place and I'm ready to blend. Fresh apples, kale, wheatgrass, beets. You get a little bit of sweet with a little added savory for a really great taste. Now for a bit of crunch, garnish it with chopped red bell pepper. And chopped cucumber. Mm. 
You guys know I gotta wipe the plate because you know my motto, presentation is everything. Of course we're gonna add the spoon and there you go. The perfect last minute soup you guys is 100% plant based made with fresh ingredients using the leftover pulp. Your guests will never know it. You've got to try it. So what are my thoughts on the Breville Juice Fountain Cold? Well, just like every Breville product, it's beautiful, well built with upscale materials. I was also impressed how easy it was to assemble and clean. Certain green leaf veggies are harder to juice than this centrifugal style juicer, simply because they don't yield a lot of juice. Now for that reason, you may want to check out Breville's Big Squeeze, as it's a slow compression juicer which yields the maximum amount of juice possible by crushing ingredients. Now it has a 10 year warranty and it's $399. The lack of a built in cord wrap. Now while not necessarily a deal breaker, Breville still needs to update their owner's manual. The noise factor. Well, it's as loud as most other centrifugal juicers. Now if quiet is an absolute must, then that's another reason to choose Breville's Big Squeeze Slow Compression Juicer. For the rest of us, at $179.95, the Breville Juice Fountain Cold is an overall well-rounded affordable machine that a first-time user can have up and running within minutes of opening the box. And that's my review of the Breville Juice Fountain Cold. Alright you guys, thank you so much for hanging out and I hope you enjoyed my review and presentation of the Breville Juice Fountain Cold. Now if you're interested in this machine or any Breville product, please order using the links below the video. It helps to support Blending with Henry. Now if this video gave you chills, <laughs> I hope so, <laughs> please press the like button and subscribe and I will see you all next time.